friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode of one mark questions we are going to see few more questions this is the part 2 and previously we have uploaded part 1 and the link of that part 1 is given in the description box you can go through that part 1 also in the 2021 examination there will be 16 questions that will be of one mark questions so here is the first question on the screen how many polynomials can be formed with minus 2 and 5 as zeros here it is given that minus 2 is one zero and 5 is the another zero and it is asked that how many polynomials can be formed with minus 2 and 5 as the zeros if we know the zeros of the polynomial then we can write the polynomial as x square minus sx plus p where s is the sum of the roots and p is the product of the roots so here sum of the roots that is alpha plus beta that will be equal to minus 2 plus 5 that will be 3 and the product of the roots that is alpha beta is equal to 5 to the 10 it will be minus 10 and therefore the polynomial will be x square minus sx that is uh, minus 3x and minus 10 5 to the 10 so this will be the polynomial that can be written with the zeros minus 2 and 5 but if we multiply this equation uh, this polynomial by 2 we will get it as 2x square minus 6x minus 20 and the zeros of this polynomial will also be minus 2 and 5 if you multiply this polynomial by 5 this polynomial by 5 then it will be 5x square minus 5 3 are 15x and minus 10 5 is 50 this will be the another polynomial whose zeros will be minus 2 and 5 if it is multiplied by some other number whatever you get the new polynomial the its zeros will also be minus 2 and 5 and therefore here we can uh, write infinitely many polynomials with the minus 2 and 5 as the zeros remember that we can form infinitely many polynomials with the help of minus 2 and 5 as the zeros of the polynomial now let us move to the next question the question is that graphically the pair of equations 6x 3y 10 is equal to 0 and 2x y 9 is equal to 0 represent what kind of lines so friends here the given equations are 6x minus 3y plus 10 that is equal to 0 and 2x minus y plus 9 that is equal to 0 and we have to state the or represent what kind of these lines will be if we have plotted the graphs of these two lines whether it will be intersecting whether it will be coincident or whether it will be the parallel here we are revising the topic and therefore uh, i once again revise that take three conditions that if a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 then we know that the lines are intersecting and since the lines are intersecting the equation will have unique solution correct okay. then second condition is that a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2 then if these ratios are equal then we know that the lines will be coincident lines lines will be coincident lines or we can call it as overlapping lines overlapping lines and therefore it will have infinitely many solutions infinitely many solutions and the third condition is that if a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 
and is not equal to C1 upon C2 if the first two ratios are equal and the third ratio that is the ratio of the constant terms is not equal then the lines will be parallel lines and since the lines will be parallel lines that two lines will never intersect and therefore it will have no solution so first we will find a1 upon a2 so here a1 upon a2 that is equal to what 6 upon 2 and that is equal to 3 now b1 upon b2 b1 upon b2 this is b1 and this is b2 so b1 is minus 3 and b2 is minus 1 so which is equal to 3 and c1 upon c2 c1 upon c2 that is equal to 10 upon 9 10 upon 9 so here what we get that a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 and is not equal to c1 upon c2 therefore the third condition is satisfied and therefore we can say that the lines will be parallel lines and the equations will have no solution now let us see the next question next question is that is the equation and the given equation is that square root of root of 2x plus root 3 bracket square plus x square which is equal to 3x square minus 5x is a quadratic equation and why if it is a quadratic equation why it is a quadratic equation and if it is not a quadratic equation then why it is not a quadratic equation so now the square of this bracket will be a plus b bracket square that is a square plus b square plus twice of a b and therefore a square will be 2 x square plus plus root 3 square will be 3 that is b square and then twice of a b so it will be 2 into root 2 x root 2 x into root 3 this will be twice of a b plus this x square which is equal to 3 x square minus 5 x and here we see that this is 3 x square this is 2x square plus x square that will be 3x square if you take 3x square to this side it will be minus 3x square and this 3x square and this 3x square will get cancelled and if you see the polynomial or sorry equation then it will be 3 plus twice of root of 2x into root 3 which is equal to minus 5x now the quadratic equation is of the order of 2 it means the highest exponent or the index of that equation is 2 but here if you look at the quadratic if you look at the equation you will see that the highest exponent is not 2 and this equation is of the order of 1 because the highest index or the highest exponent is 1 and therefore it is not a quadratic equation because it is not of the order of 2 now let us move to the next question find the term of the ap 10 which term we have to find find the third th the 30th term of an ap 10 7 4 and so on we have to find the 30th term ap is that 7 10 7 4 and dash dash where a is equal to 10 then common difference d is second term minus first term so it will be 7 minus 10 that will be minus 3 and we have to find the 38th term so a30 is equal to a plus 29d and therefore a30 that is equal to a is what 10 plus 29 into d is minus 3 and so if you solve this it will be 10 minus 87 and so which is equal to minus 77 so the 30th term a30 is equal to minus 77 highlight this now move to the next question 
the question is that in the given figure o is the center of the circle prove that here o this o is the center of the circle prove that sorry pt prove that pt and pq are tangents pt and pq are tangents to the circle from an external point p if angle tpq is equal to 70 degrees then find the angle trq here pt and pq are the tangents to the circle pt and pq are tangents to the circle from the exterior point or the external point p if angle tpq this angle tpq is 70 degree then find the angle trq this angle you have to find friends watch this video and then first solve yourself and get the answer yourself now here what we can do here join this and this join this this is the radius and this is the radius and we know that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact and therefore this angle is 90 degree similarly this radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact so this angle will be 90 degree so if you take this quadrilateral we know that in this quadrilateral the sum of the four angles is 360 degree so this is 90 degree this is 90 degree so this will be 180 degree so this sum should also be 180 degree and therefore this angle is 110 degrees so that this total will also be 180 degrees and now in the 9th standard you have studied that angle inscribed at the center will be twice that of the angle inscribed at the point on the circle. So this angle is twice that of this angle it means this angle R will be half of this angle O. So if this is 110 this angle will be 55 degree and therefore angle T r q that is equal to 55 degrees i am not writing i know that you will be able to write how to write it that you know i have just explained now move to the next question now the question is that if the circumference of a circle and the perimeter of a square are equal then find the relation between the area of the circle and the area of the square here it is given that the circumference of the circle and perimeter of the square are equal so what is given circumference of a circle is equal to perimeter of the square now circumference of the circle is given by the formula 2 pi r which is equal to perimeter of the square is given by the formula 4 into side that is 4 a if a is the length of the side and therefore if you solve this you will get it as 2 into 22 by 7 into r which is equal to 4a so here 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 2 1s are 2 2 11s are 22 take 7 to this side and 11 to this side then you will get r is equal to 7 by 11a 7 by 11 times that of the A will be the radius of the circle. Now we have to find the relation between the area of the circle and the area of the square. So let the area of the circle is denoted by A1. So A1 is equal to what? It will be pi r square. Pi r square is the formula to find the area of the circle. So which is equal to 22 by 7 multiplied by r square r is what 7 by 11 a. So 7 square will be 49 and 11 square will be 121 multiplied by uh, a square because it is 7 by 11 a. So this will be 7 7 are 49 this will be 11 2 are 22 and 11 11 are 21 121 
and so it will be 14 by 14 by 11 a square this is the area of the circle now we will find area of the square if i denote it by a2 so area of the square will be what it will be side into side that is a square so side into side that is a square that gives you the area of the square and therefore here a square is what it is the area of the square so i replace this a square by the area of the square so what you will get it here here it will be a1 a1 that is equal to 14 by 11 14 by 11 a square is what it is a2 replace it here as a2 so this is the relation between the area of the square and the area of the uh, sorry area of the circle and the area of the square that area of the circle is 14 by 11 times that of the area of the square now let us move to the next question find the value of sine square of 60 plus 2 10 45 minus cos square 30 this is very simple so here we will put the value of sine 60 that is root 3 by 2 sine 60 that is root 3 by 2 bracket square plus 2 into 10 45 its value is 1 minus cos square 30 that again is root 3 by 2 bracket square so here root 3 by 2 bracket square minus root 3 by 2 bracket square will get cancelled and you will get which is equal to 2 into 1 that is equal to 2 it was very simple now move to the next question why it has given one mark because you have to remember the values of sin 60 tan 45 and cos 30 and so this question has got one mark now the next question if the distance between the points 4 comma k and into bracket 1 comma 0 is 5 then what can be the possible values of k now here the distance between these two points is given as 5 correct so let a is equal to 4 comma k and b is a point whose coordinates are 1 and 0 and therefore it is given that a b that is equal to 5 I take the square of both the sides so that it will be a b square that is equal to 25 now I find a b square using the distance formula distance formula is square root of x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square but here we are taking square and therefore the square root will not be there so it will be what x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 y2 minus y1 bracket square that is equal to 25 now here x2 minus x1 that is 4 minus 1 that will be 3 square correct 4 minus 1 that will be 3 and 3 square will be 9 i am doing this directly plus y2 minus y1 that is k minus 0 bracket square that will be k square which is equal to 25 and now take 9 to the other side so k square that is equal to 25 minus 9 and therefore k square is equal to 16 and so the value of k is equal to taking square root of both the sides it will be plus minus 4 friends remember here this is the accident prone area this is the accident prone area and why because here we generally take the square root of 16 as plus 4 but remember as far as when we are dealing with the when we are dealing with the quadratic equation we have to consider both the signs that plus 4 and the minus 4 now the next question is not there today we will take eight questions only and i hope you must have enjoyed this video if yes please like the video share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो